All right, so we're going to be going over all the cosmetics that are coming to Dead by Daylight in the next few months, and there's an insane amount of them, so let's just hop right into it. So up first, we have the Frankenstein, Trickster, and Yoon Jin. These are coming for the Event Rift rewards in the Haunted by Daylight event. Honestly, these look super clean, super sick. Trickster's kind of a second main for me, so I'm definitely going to be using this. They really knocked it out of the park with both of these, and I don't even play Yoon Jin, but this skin looks really good. I'm definitely going to actually be getting it since it's going to be free for the event, right? Up next, we have the winners for the cosmetic contest. So first up, we got the Death Tower for Singularity. And they, I'm sure they picked him because people were complaining about him not getting a lot of skins. And, you know, he just got a skin like yesterday. He'll be getting one in a few months when this drops as well. So Singularity mains are finally eating good. Now we have the Unsolved for the Unknown. So he's getting another skin, a character, another character that's been widely considered to be slept on and not really given much spotlight. This one is one of the cooler ones, I think. I'm not a big Unknown fan, but you know, this isn't, I, I kind of like it, I kind of like it. I'm not gonna get it though. I just don't play Unknown that much, but it definitely looks dope. And then we got the Fear of Reminiscence for the Dredge. Now they did make a important distinction where they said that they had to change some things on it because it doesn't fit with the character like too well. So who knows how much they're gonna change it. They said they had to make some small tweaks and they were gonna reach out to the artist. So it's not gonna be looking exactly like this. Up next, we got Late Night Lecture for Adam Francis. This one won. I was kind of surprised, honestly, the route they were going because they picked a lot of unlike played characters. Like Adam Francis has a very low pick rate, but he still did get the skin. And I think it is one of the cooler ones. I did like the fact he, how he had his jacket draped over him and stuff like that. Then we got the Jake Park one. I had a feeling this one was going to win. This one looks super sick as well. Uh, I like the flannel wrap around his waist. Although I'm just now seeing the fact he's wearing a crop top, which is really weird, but... You know, it's still cool looking, I guess, uh, aside from that. And then, of course, Gothic Romance, Sable won. Uh, no surprise there. It was a community vote. She has, like, an 8% pick rate. So that's, like, 80, 90,000 people who play her. So, of course, she was going to be winning that. Up next, we have the Gothic Noir co uh, collection. And this is just a Survivor-only collection. You got uh, Jeff Johansson with... Uh, honestly, it's, it's a pretty cool skin. I kind of like the metal mask he's got on. You know, <laughs> it's pretty nice. And then you got... Um, Claudette hers is pretty dope too uh I really like the just the gothic art style I guess they said it's inspired by Castlevania but not actually Castlevania and then you got Meg as well Meg with the red jacket kind of a clash between the red and blue I, I really like those a lot I don't play Meg either so but yeah not bad and then unknowns getting another skin I don't know what this is supposed to be like a medieval peasant type thingy I guess it looks dope it looks better than the community contest one uh so yeah it, it does look cool. He's got like armor and a sword and almost like an executioner, I guess, with the like sackcloth thingy on his head. And then you got the artist and I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Like this doesn't look gothic at all. You know, like, you know, cause this is gothic is like 1800s or I mean like 1400s and stuff like this. And this is just like, this looks like a, like a Diablo collab or <laughs> something like that. Then we got the Dominus Tome with uh soma cruz for trevor belmont as a legendary skin and then you got shinoa's dress for yui kimura which is just a rare cosmetic and then you got the true form of dracula uh which is unlocked at tier 70 which is a visceral it comes with its own mori which is super sick and uh yeah just a really cool looking skin they really knocked that out of the park with that one then we got the hollowed uh the void collection i mean with kate denson being the next one to be added to it this one looks pretty cool as well and then you got Adam Francis, again, two skins. This one, uh, I'm not too big of a fan on, honestly. And then you got uh, Zarina, so yeah. Oh, oh, and then the first ever killer being introduced to the Void Collection. Now, I don't know why they're going with Plague. I think they could be going with Plague because Plague is the oldest killer in the game. I mean, maybe the unknown is technically, but when Plague was released, she was considered the oldest killer in the game because she's from like ancient Babylon, so. Maybe that's why she's the first one to be introduced into the Void. We have eight survivors with Void outfits, and we have one killer now, so at least they're starting. Then we got the Trick or Treat collection, and we got Sable Ward with, like, a witch outfit, I guess. And then Michaela's matching her with a kitty outfit, which doesn't really make sense to me at all. They said that the witch outfit fits Sable perfectly, and I mean, like, I guess so, but, like... Michaela was the witch you know what I mean I don't know you would think it would be swapped it's kind of weird but I guess Sable or, or uh, Michaela already has a witch so maybe that's why they did this but yeah 
Then you got the a new Hollow Blight collection. You got the pig. Well, this one looks honestly super sick. I really do like this one a lot. And then you got Nicolas Cage as like obviously he's not blighted. He's just splattered with the blight stuff. But he's the survivor. He's got some freaking chops, some mutton chops. And then you got Deathslinger. Deathslinger looks pretty dope as well. So yeah, both all of these look super super sick. And then we got a new alien collection. This is a brand new aliens, never been any media before, just completely created by the Dead by Daylight team. They were just given free reign to come up with something. So this is the alien juggernaut, and it definitely does look like a juggernaut. It's like a super up armored version of it. Really cool. That would be even cooler if we seen this in like a movie or something. That would be really sick in the future. And then you got Ellen Ripley with her pressure suit skin. Obviously a huge fumble because like why does she like, I, I have no idea what they're obsession with not having helmets on is but a lot of these survivors could look way cooler if they gave them like helmets to their spacesuits and stuff like that or like full face visors but i don't know maybe they just don't want people to be confusing them for the killer i guess I, who knows but yeah all right so these cosmetics are coming between october to november for, so we're going to be getting a bunch of skins in october to november like 20 to 30 skins for the game these ones are coming from mobile, DBD mobile to DBD core. So these have already been in mobile for a while, but they're coming over to the core version of the game. You got an outfit for the hag. Then you got this one for the hillbilly. This one looks crazy. <laughs> uh, it, it actually looks really sick. And then you have one for Ace Visconti and you have one for David King. This David King one is definitely the best looking one. This looks sick. This is his boxer outfit. Uh, honestly, super dope, but yeah. So that does it. That's what... 30 to 40 skins we're getting in october and november so that's all the cosmetics unfortunately huntress is getting nothing i'm going on a huntress rant again but huntress has been the most popular killer aside from the brand new killers that release because those are always the most popular she's been the consistent most popular killer for seven years straight eight years straight and she just really doesn't get as many skins as she should like she has a decent amount er, sable's getting two three skins this event michaela's getting two skins yui's getting three skins uh unknowns getting two skins singularity's getting two skins and then yeah huntress is just left you know with nothing and it, it would be different if she was like an uh a lower pick rate killer you know i don't know or a licensed killer it's really annoying and it's really weird that they absolutely fumbled by not picking her a pajama cosmetic and not picking the uh huntress emblem i don't know it's just this is just a big rant but yeah you know 40 50 skins coming out in the next two to three months unfortunately i haven't seen huntress on any of them but yeah i just kind of wanted to make a quick video about that because that's like my favorite part about the game honestly is skins and stuff like that but uh yeah that does it for this one let me know what you guys think let me know what skin you guys are looking forward to the most and i'll see you guys in the next one